Next lesson is to show you how to thread your sewing machine. Every sewing machine will come with a guide. On my own sewing machine, just like we did earlier when we were threading the bobbin, you have this hole here, which is number one, is the same one that connects with threading the sewing machine. So it's also number one for my own sewing machine and it's likely going to be the same for you as well. But it changes when it gets here. With threading the bobbin, number two is this one. But for threading the sewing machine, you bypass this one and then that will be number two here. So number two will be right here on my own machine. So pass the thread in here, go to this bit, and then number three for me in my own sewing machine is right here. That is number three for me. Weight goes up to number four and then pass down again until it gets to the needle. So let's give that a go. As you can see I'm holding the thread here with one hand so that the thread will not keep rolling. So I'm holding it so that I don't want to waste a lot of thread and I'm using one finger to hold the thread in place and the other uh, hand guiding my thread. So I'll clip it into number one here. If you can't clip it, just pass the thread into the hole. It comes to your right. And then it goes to number two here, which just goes below it. And then it's going to pass through that hole down to where number three is and underneath it. And pass up towards number four. You should see a lever taker. You see that thing that's moving up and down? That is number four. And we want to make sure that the thread passes through it. If you cannot see it, turn the wheel of the machine towards you. Towards you until you can see. So you can see it's come up again. So now you want to take your thread from the right to the left, like so. Yeah, it's clipped into it. From the right to the left, it will clip into it. Okay? And then my number five goes there and clips into number six, which is just right here. On your sewing machine, you will see that guide. Just follow that guide. So it clips into that. If you can't clip it, just take the tip of your thread and pass it through that point, but it should clip it. Yeah, just take that in there and as you can see, it clips right into it. The next thing you want to do is to thread the needle. Now, when you are going to be threading your needle, make sure you turn off your sewing machine. Please turn off your sewing machine because there is a danger that while you are threading the needle, you mistakenly press the pedal of your sewing machine and then you don't want any accident. So make sure you turn off your sewing machine. I have done that. So what you want to do is to bring your foot down so that it's out of the way. Turn the wheel of the sewing machine towards you. Make sure the needle is up. And then my own needle, the hole of the needle is facing me, is at the front. So I just pass the thread in between and use another finger to bring it out from the back. As you can see, now I have threaded my needle. Sometimes your same machine could come with a needle threader like this one. I don't usually use this, but it helps you to be able to thread your needle. If you're, I want you to be able to thread your needle manually rather than using this one so that you can get really good at it. So now that we've threaded the needle, next thing I want to do is to lift up the foot and then take the thread, pass it through the foot to the back. Once I pass it through to the back, you want to then turn the wheel of your sewing machine. And when I say the wheel, I mean this. Yeah, turn it towards you. Keep turning it towards you until the thread in your needle goes down to pick the thread from the bobbin because these two threads need to connect. Without the connection of these two thread, sewing cannot occur. So keep turning the wheel towards you your needle goes down, picks up the thread from your bobbin and bring it up. 
once it brings it up just use one hand to pull it through to you as you can see I pulled the two thread up and then close the compartment of your bobbin and you're ready to sew just take the two thread to the back so that you have the room to start sewing okay keep practicing that if you need to rewind this video please rewind it as many times as you can what we have done in this lesson is to look at how to thread the bobbin like I explained earlier there's a guide on your sewing machine which shows you that the first thing you want to do is to pass your thread into this place and then it goes to number two here and then it goes into number three here and you clip it against this to secure it press the pedal to wind the bobbin and it does wind it auto automatically for you and then we went ahead to also thread the sewing machine itself number one number two number three down up to number four move the lever up number four from right to left down to number five number six and then we threaded the needle then after we did that we rolled the wheel towards us to the front so that the thread in the needle can catch the thread in the bobbin to bring it up and then we move both threads to the back of the same machine in the next lesson we're going to then do some straight stitching Try it on your sewing machine. If you have to try it 100 times, do it. The more you practice, the better you get. Join me in my next lesson when we start sewing straight stitches. Thank you. This is asoftreasure.co.uk.